Hello cadets, welcome back to the third quintet tutorial. I am Spasticus, also known as Spaz, and I'll be taking you through this one. This time we're going through in a Davul quintet, which is oddly one of the slowest ships in the game. However, it does have some fun techniques it can use. Here I am in the captain's seat, and I have activated self-destruct just because I can, and for the purposes of the tutorial, I think it's probably best if I deactivate it as well. Helm is basically the same as before. Not much change here. You can still roll the ship and move the thrust as normal. Tactical is much the same too. You have two torpedo systems to use, and you can use them independently of each other forward and aft. Engineering is much the same as before as well, so not much to note here. Now, science. That's where things get fun. I'll move myself into a position where I can see everybody. Okay. So, the first thing science can do that sets it apart from others is the ability to scan. Scanning drone 1, I can see up here, I can see its hull, shield frequency, it has only one type of shield, its forward shield, which is encompassing the whole ship, and its frequency alpha. I can also see its systems here, they're all at full. Now, as science, I can relay this information to tactical, and if the tactical has drone 1 as its target, and it switches to frequency alpha as its beam frequency, I can not only cut through its shields, but directly to the hull. Or, this shows up and I have the option to attack its weapon, shield generator, or engines. If I attack its weapons enough and completely disable them, that means the enemy will not be able to fire back until the system is repaired. If they don't have an engineer, well, they can't repair those systems either. Same thing with the shield generator, and with the engines, if those are completely disabled, the only thing you can do is maneuver in place. However, if any of these three are chosen, it does not damage the hull. So, you may want to choose whether or not you want to damage the hull, and completely destroy the ship, or just simply disable it so it can't do anything else. You can get scanned too. As you can see, I can modulate my shield frequency, which is currently delta. If I get scanned, one of the first things I will want to do as a science officer is modulate those shields and get it off of whatever frequency it was on before. It randomly chooses, but it's going to be different than the one it was before. So now we're on beta. Good. This means that if they want to directly attack through my shields and attack my hull or my systems, they will have to scan me again, get the new frequency, and then modulate their beam to that and that's five seconds they're not firing at you. Always a good thing. The remote interface here allows me to hack engines, weapons, or shields, and it's only a debuff that disables that system for 10 seconds. So if I want to kill off a pursuer, I don't necessarily have to kill his weapons. I can kill his engines and then teleport out of range. Like so. That lasts for 10 seconds, they'll be able to turn in place, but they won't be able to move. Now, one thing that separates the quintet from the quartet and duet is that it doesn't have a turret. But its beam, when locked, has what we call a donut laser, because it's in a 120 degree arc along the horizontal axis of the ship. So if I fire my beam, it will continually target in that donut-shaped arc. And if a target's following me, it will continue to keep blocking. So if I select a new target, it locks on. I can even fire torpedoes this way, if they are in the correct arc. 
I switch back to my rear, you can see they're right behind me. And by switching arcs, it still has to retire the target. Like so. The other fun thing about the donut laser is that if you have an enemy that uses it, you can get directly above or below them, and they won't be able to fire at you. But all they have to do is roll the ship. And they can probably get you within their donut laser's range. Alright, that covers science. Well, no it doesn't. Let's do one more thing. And by that one more thing, I mean demonstrate one of the most fun aspects of this particular ship. Where is that cloaked cruiser? Ah, there he is, right in front of us. See that engine trail? I'm going to get up nice and close to him for this. He's going to decloak any moment now. There he goes. And I'm going to boost the force and cool down on my tractor beam. And here is why. Time for the energy ram. And I'm going to pull him right into it. It's a ram with spikes on it. And it just destroyed his ship. Fun, huh? Alright, folks. That's everything. Thanks for watching.